Hey, YouTube, this is VC, and sorry if this isn't the best, but, um, I don't really know what else I can do to improve it, unless that's good, but, so, um, I was just going through my books, I found a book that, um, actually, like, it never helps me, because I've never had, like, a bully in my life bullying me, because nobody bullies me, because everybody says I'm nice, so... I'm just going with that. <laughs> but it's this book. I thought that it was, like, the book Mean Girls, like, the movie. But apparently it's, like, about facing a bully, basically. Like, a popular girl, I guess you could call it. And I did mark some pages that I want to share with you guys. So, yeah. And it's just called Mean Girls, Facing Your Beauty, Turn to Beast. And it is by Haley DeMarco. Um, got this book at the Salvation Army, in fact, I never even finished reading it. And it says, Sugar and Spice, and is that all nice? I'm reading the back. Um, it's tough to be a girl. Sugar and Spice, and that's not all nice. Not quite, you have probably been a victim of a mean girl once or twice. The kind that loves spread humor, rumors, fight over the smallest things, tease and torment. Let's face it, sometimes girls can just be plain mean. Here's a way to end the cycle of mean. Mean Girls explains why girls are cool and shows you how to deal with them, how to stop the cycle of mean, and even how to remove mean altogether. Haley will show you why some girls treat you the way they do, what God thinks about your mean girl, why hanging out with a mean girl is bad for you, how to move on and find more healthy relationships. So, yeah. So, I just marked a few pages. So, let's get started. Okay. First page is mean for a reason, and I wanted to share um, this with you, and it's just like a small little paragraph, and it says, the girl who is mean for fun, she's easy to spot, we all wish she would leave us alone, but there's another mean girl out there, she's one that is, who is mean for a reason, check her out. Um... And that does have meaning to it. What it means is that, like, the girl who is mean, she's being mean for fun. She's easy to spot. And we wish that she would just leave us alone. But there are more mean girls out there, basically. And she's mean for a reason. So check her out. I don't know. And, like, it has this little story. Uh, the big dance is this weekend. You can hardly wait. Your man is so cute. He's all about you. You two are going to have a total blast. When you get there, things are going great. Music is pumping. Your friends are with you. He's as cute as ever, you know. Turn your focus to the man of your dreams. Locked arm with her. As you watch, most, you know. Okay. Next one is a page and a quote. So I'm just gonna remove the sticky notes whenever I note them. So um the page. These are kinda like little steps you can follow. But first here's the quote. It's um Gossip tells secrets, so hang around with so someone who talks too much. That's by King Solman. And then her number one goal is to get a reaction out of you, to make you mad. So if you're not going to be mad, then she'll almost stop. So here, like the sex, like ignore her, prove her wrong, don't let her see you sweat, don't make yourself a victim. And then here's a quote. But he said to me, my grace is so significant for you. My power made is perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weakness so that, Christ, so that Christ's power may rest on me. And that is why, Christ's sake, I delight in weakness, insults, and hardships, and in prosecutions and difficulties. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Which is basically saying, when you're weak, you're strong. You're always going to be strong no matter what. So, then here's like more little steps. Don't retaliate. Don't tell. Pray. Then here's a three-way caller. Shut up. 
don't do it. Um, yeah, shut up, don't do it. These are, I guess, like for the mean girl. But, yeah, and then, what do you do? It's find your hope in God. Don't get mad. Don't get sad. Ignore them. Confront carefully and know when to tell. Then there's this for cyberspacers, which I will make in a different video since that has been going around a lot on YouTube. Now I'm just going to explain depending on how many. Yeah, I have time. Okay. Quickly, I'm going to explain this. Find your hope in God. What that is saying is find your hope in life. Find your hope in why you're on this earth. Because you're set here for a reason. You're set here just to be here. You're set here for a reason. Which means you're going to do something really good in life. Don't get mad. The main girl's goal is to make you mad. So as long as you get mad, she'll keep retaliating. She'll keep even bullying you even more. Then don't get sad. Another point of her is to make you sad. When she makes you sad, that's right where she knows, oh, I can just keep doing this. I made her sad. So it's fun. And then ignore them. Just ignore them completely. If they're behind you, if they're right behind you being like, oh, look at her. She's so ugly. Ignore them. Walk away. Go into a group of your friends. Confront carefully. Ignoring is usually the best. But when you confront them, then God is basically telling you to confront her. Go to the teacher carefully, not revealing too much of the stuff that she did, or then she'll come back on you hard. Just say, this girl has been bullying me nonstop, and it's really getting annoying. Could I maybe talk to the principal or something? And then, know when to tell. you got to know when to tell. If she's just simply picking on you, like saying, you're mean, like every day, you need to know when you absolutely need to tell. So, yeah. Stay tuned for my next um, bullying video. Um, how to stop it. And next one is going to be about cyberbullying. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys watching. Bye.